this SRC, but other her executive vetting. You see, they didn't display our uh, experience in some of the questions they were asked. And in that regard, now take that uh, maybe some of this policy should be introduced. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Brian Habita, a uh, reporter in here. Joshua Kwan is the president of the local NUCS, uh, or the local National Union of Ghana Students uh, Secretariat of uh, the Students' Representative Council of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology right here. And he joins us live online. Uh, Joshua, good evening. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Joshua, um, we are told that um, in uh, the University of Ghana, Legon, uh, students will be required to attain a GPA of uh, 3.0 uh, before um, they are eligible to vie for any position. Uh, who, what do you think of this? Well, that, uh, that, that uh, session comes as a shock to everybody because student leadership um, is not totally an academic affair. And we can say that based of the people that have... Um, good averages are the best of leaders. There are people that are not so much so good academically, but when it comes to leadership, they are so excellent. So I think that the university's uh, authority coming to say that people must have a specific great point where they arrive for positions, to me, I think it's, it's, it's very unfortunate, and that needs to be reviewed. Because the, the best of leaders are the best of people with um, academic spirit. I don't support that idea and we need to revoke it with the strength that we need. Joshua, um, so you won't encourage the same thing to be introduced in the KNUSD? No, I would not in any way encourage that and I would want to state clearly that we should at all times discourage the administrations of investors to disabuse or to stay away from student politics because that can mean the, 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 the image of investors as well. And introducing this sort of um, a policy where you are supposed to attain a great point before, it means that we're depriving those same students that are so good in, in leadership and who haven't got that great point, that, that but wish to aspire to, to higher levels in leadership, get the opportunity. So I would say, with the strongest of, in the strongest of terms, that that shouldn't be encouraged in any way. And what is happening in the Ghana House of now should be off in the strongest terms as possible and that thing should be reversed if possible as early as possible to affect any situation where they may feel because I foresee that. Um, Joshua, um, why do you see this as uh, an interference by the university authority? Um, I want to say that student leadership is solely students. Why is it student leadership? It's solely students. Students go to polls to choose their own leaders who will come in and determine their fate. And their fate is left onto those students, whether good or otherwise. So if it is a a policy, I would say that they are defining students that are good in leadership, the opportunity to get to the students and serve them. Uh, Joshua, looking at that... Uh, I would say that it is not all the people that are good academically that are leadership. But imagine if it is good Joshua, could, you, could you reposition yourself for us? Your line is breaking. Okay. Imagine if the A is good academically and B is not. But B by all standards and all from all locations is a good leader. But because there's not in that great point of the invented so called policy, he cannot go ahead to, to exhibit his good leadership he has in him. So I would say that it is an interference in the past of university authority. And I would say it is from that as much as possible. Okay, but I'm um, looking at the toll of um, work on a student leader, such as the SRC president, for instance. Um, Joshua, wouldn't it be advisable, uh, in your best opinion, that uh, some level of CWA is uh, attained? Yes, it should be encouraged that before you come in with the stress of the work, before you come into leadership, you should be strong academically as well. But there should not be any pegging whatsoever. So you must attain this at the before I before I contest for election. That's what I am speaking about. That there should not be any pegging whatsoever. But people should encourage that with the with the, the level of work that is ahead of the student leaders. It's encouraged that people should have strong academic background for coming. But to have a legislation that should bring a cut point. 
Okay, thank you very much, Joshua Kwan, the president of the local Nuk Secretariat um, of the KNUST, telling us uh, that he's against the move or any move uh, to um, impose a certain level of G, um, GPO, CWA, for a student aspiring for any position within the SRC. What do you think?